All right, y'all, how you doing? I come in peace tonight. I don't come in discord. This is just on my heart. I don't want to talk about this too much after tonight. I just got to put it out there. I love you guys. To my enemies, I love you. To the enemies of those that I am connected with, I still love you. In Jesus' name. Like my brother says, I don't really understand and I don't think I'll ever understand people that are jealous of you when you make it after knowing everything that you've been through. And I thought I had a testimony. I thought that I had been through some stuff. Now I realize I ain't been through, man. I've been through some minor stuff and that was because of my bad decisions. But I have not been through, man, some of the things that people go through around here, bro. Man, you just gotta be really careful, bro, who you put your mouth on, because you don't understand who belongs to Jesus Christ. Man, you don't wanna be you don't wanna be messing around with somebody who is true to God because of what you see on the outside, you don't understand their relationship with Christ. So you can't just be putting your mouth on them because it's gonna come back. It's always going to come back. Don't be deceived. God is not mocked. You, can't get, you can get over on everybody around you. You might be able to do that for a season. And let me say that specifically. For a season. But there comes a time in every man's life where he must reap what he sows. Whatever you have sown in your life, you're going to reap it. All the bad decisions I made in my life, I was reaping all those consequences multiple times in the hospital because of my bad decisions. Died in a car accident because of my bad decisions. On the streets twice because of my bad decisions. But at some point, you have to recognize your flaws and you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision. What am I going to do with this? Now, God has blessed me. God has blessed me with a true brother in Christ. And that's author Brandon Griffin. And he put out a book, if you don't already know, called The Outcast Will Outlast. I thought I've been through some stuff. The stuff that he talks about in that book, that ain't even the quarter of the things that he went through. So just be careful when you put your mouth on someone. I'm not saying this in any kind of prideful way, in any kind of tough guy kind of way, because we're not coming against you. The consequences of what you've said about somebody who is true, we're not coming against you. God is going to deal with you. I know that because God has dealt with me. Not because I put my mouth on anybody, but because of my bad decisions. Like I said, whatever you reap, whatever you sow, excuse me, you're going to reap. Don't think that you won't just because you haven't yet. God is a God of justice. He's not a God of lies. You can't just put your mouth on somebody who loves God and expect to stay blessed. It's going to crumble. It's going to crumble eventually. You can fool everybody around you. You can fool your congregation, you know, that you're true to God and that they're this and they're that. But at some point, why do you think everything is crumbling around you? Why do you think you can't move forward? Like I said, I'm not coming in malice. I'm not coming in discord. I just want you to think, okay? If you humble yourself and pray as you know the scriptures, I know you know the scriptures, and I'm not just talking to certain individuals, but you know who you are, okay? God is always providing a chance for you to humble yourself and repent. He wishes that none would perish, but that all would come to repentance. That all would come to repentance. But there does come a time, and we don't know what that time is, where your grace can be cut off. And there's so much happening in this world right now that you just can't afford to play with that. So if you are listening to this video and you know you need to get it right with God, your heart, 
get it right with him tonight. Get it right with him, please. Please. See, me, God delivered me from hard drugs, okay? He delivered me from hard drugs. He also delivered me from marijuana. And that came by many whoopings, many, many scary experiences. Many times where I'm going to be transparent. I made covenants with God. I made promises and I did not keep those promises. And because of that, it almost cost me my life many, 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 many times. Countless. Countless. You don't want to go through that. You don't. Trust me. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. And yes, He loves you. But don't play with Him. Look what's happening in the world. Don't play with Him. Don't play with Him. Please don't play with Him. Just be honest, man. I'm at a point now where I'm just being myself. Okay? The real me is going to come out. The real you is going to come out. It's going to come out eventually. God said, I, I would rather that you be hot or cold, but since you're lukewarm, part of being lukewarm is not being yourself. Hiding who you really are in front of people. I don't hide anymore. Yeah, I still drink. God took the hard drugs away from me, but I still drink. I'm still working through that. I'm still fasting because I have to keep my flesh down, my desires down, my lust down. I have to die. I have to die fully, daily. I have to make a decision. But I'm honest with God. I'm not making an excuse. And that's what we're missing right now, is real people. Real people who are honest about their mistakes, man. And I'm going through my process right now. My giants. And God has fought a lot of my battles, man. He has, he has delivered me from a lot of things, like I said. But coming back to my main point, don't put your mouth on anybody. Don't put your mouth on anybody. It's just really foolish. It's just really foolish. I love you guys. To all my enemies and my future haters for where I'm headed next. I love you guys for real. And I want you to purchase my true brothers. The Bible says there is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. I want you to purchase The Outcast Will Outlast by author Brandon Griffin. Like I said, it's only a quarter of his testimony. He's got many more books to come. But it's going to show you that God can take you out of the, some of the darkest, man, some of the darkest things you could ever imagine. Your worst nightmare. A lot of people think they know you, but they have no idea. They have no idea what you suffered in silence. They just don't know. But this is a story of how he overcame. No matter what he went through, he was always praying. And I'm starting to understand him a little more because I spend every single day with him. That man is real, bro. That man is true and honest. And we're all working on something. We're all working on something. I'm still dealing with anger. I'm still dealing with drinking. So what? I said it. I'm not making an excuse for those things. I'm being honest. And I know I'm going to be alright in the end because I have a calling on my life. But I know I need to be clean as well. I'm being honest, man. I'm putting myself out there. You can't expose somebody that's in the light. That's something that Arthur Brandon Griffin has been telling me for the last month. Just be yourself, man. God will deliver you in His timing. As long as your heart is sincere and you want to get free, you will get free. Look at everything that He's freed me from already. I know He's going to deliver me, but I'm not going to hide either. I'm not going to hide because when you hide, then you get exposed. And that's what's happening in the world right now. And that's why people don't want to go to the church because... It's a bunch of hypocrisy. 
A lot of it is a bunch of hypocrisy and the people of the world are tired of it. They don't see the real power of God. They see a form of godliness. Religion. And I'm sick of it myself. You need to have a sincere relationship with Christ regardless of where you are in your walk. Just focus on your relationship with Christ, man. Because He is going to free you. There is no sin too big that He cannot forgive you. And the Bible is instructions to help you to get free through Christ. It's not a rule book. God is trying to free us from ourselves. Do you understand? He wants the best for us. He wants us to have life in abundance. He's not trying to restrict us from having fun. He's trying to release us into the life that He has ordained for us. In Jeremiah 29 and 11, He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a hope and a future. Depression, addiction, anxiety, all those, there's nothing too big for God, man. There's nothing too big for him. I'm still going through my stuff. He's delivered me from a lot, but I'm still going through my stuff and I'm not afraid to put myself out there in public because I'm real. I'm coming out of the dark. That's what God wants. He's looking for real people right now. Real people. Those are the people that he uses. He's going to use the outcasts. Okay? The people that are real. I promise you that. He uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. So I just want to leave you with that. Going back to my main point because it keeps coming back to me. Be careful who you put your mouth on. Because the ones that you're putting your mouth on, those are the people that love you and that really have Christ in them. Stop doing that. Stop doing that and focus on you. Examine yourself and your relationship with Christ. So I love you guys in Jesus' name, and I just pray that you have peace and joy, everyone that's hearing my voice. Just stick close to God, man. That's all I can say. And uh, support what God's doing in my brother's life. His name is Brandon Griffin. He's on Facebook. His book, The Outcast While It Lasts, it's on Amazon for $12.95 plus shipping and handling. He's got a lot of other stuff coming, clothing, backpacks, hats. Look out for that, you know. Um, he loves all of you, just like I love you guys. And uh, I guess God just wanted me to do this. I didn't expect to say all this tonight, but this is what he has me doing. You know, and I have to be obedient. I'm not going <laughs> to, I've been disobedient for too long. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And, and I love you guys in Jesus' name. Until next time, be blessed and encouraged.